Palazzo Barberini is this beautiful Baroque palace. And it is a work of art by itself. And also has an amazing collection of art. The collection of paintings spans from the 13th century to the 18th. But the 16th and 17th centuries are most represented, featuring works by artists such as Raffaello, Tintoretto, Caravaggio, Bernini, and a whole bunch more. It sort of makes my head spin. This visit was somewhat special because it is August in Rome, it is very hot. And yet, this palazzo offered a bit of relief. One of the great things about these museums is that we were able to see them and visit them and they no longer are just for a few people to enjoy. The opulence of the palace makes my jaw drop. I couldn't help but think that this was a residence and imagine the families that occupied these spaces to live out their normal lives. Birthdays, holidays, meals. I really could use a flat, a tenth as nice in Rome, to be honest, or anywhere. A fun fact, you might see these bees around. The bees were used in the coat of arms of the Barberini family, and you might see them throughout the palazzo and in Piazza Barberini. If you are looking for something to do in Rome, after you've done your primary list of things to do, Palazzo Barberini is a good place to start. It is in a central location. There are plenty of bars, restaurants, and things to do around there. And you get a ticket to the Corsini Gallery, which is located in Trastevere. 